Today I'll be talking about female sociopaths. Yes, you heard me, female sociopaths. And to make to make clear, a sociopath is a human being that turns demonic. What I mean by that? That individual is still a human being, but he or she lacks empathy and a conscience. He or she because a sociopath can be either a male or a female, a sociopath is a human being that functions as if they are an evil spirit. They are completely full of themselves and they don't care at all what their actions do to others. While human beings in general act selfishly from time to time, there is remorse and repentance when they realize how bad they how bad the consequences are of their actions, especially when it concerns others. Even criminals and guys that are hard and people who claim to be, you know, all that, even they have remorse. Even they shun from evil behavior because they know it will harm others and themselves. There's this thing called empathy, which is a part of our human soul. The, the creator create, created empathy in our souls so that we would have consideration for each other, even for our strangers and for our enemies. However, a sociopath is an individual in which the soul is so damaged that empathy and you know, attachments to other human beings doesn't function. A sociopath is only interested in self gain and fulfilling um, in fulfilling illusions. That's all, the only thing a sociopath cares about. And they care less what they do to others. Really, they don't have empathy. They are just like demon spirits. And the reason why I'm talking about female sociopaths here is because in science and in the media and in society at at large, people have the tendency to believe that sociopaths are only male, as if only men do all the harm on earth. That's not true. A psychopath is a sociopath gone mad, because sociopaths, just like Satan, masquerade as angels of light. A sociopath doesn't act in destructive behavior all the time. But a psychopath is someone who is addicted to, to destructive behavior. And a psychopath is someone who is completely out of control and loves to, and is addicted to causing damage to others. While a sociopath will often cause damage to others just to fulfill their own, you know, just feel good about himself. Anyway, there isn't a big difference between a psychopath and a sociopath, but I'm, I'll just use the term sociopath here. You see, there are also female sociopaths. Yes, I've said that. There are also female sociopaths. A female sociopath is different than a male sociopath in a sense that they act their demonic tendencies, they, they express their demonic tendencies different. Men, of, men who become demonic are often, you know, busy with gaining political control or economic success. That's how males, male sociopaths, I mean, that's how male sociopaths um, express a demonic tendency. They search for political and economic control upon others. Female sociopaths tend to use their sexuality to have emotional control upon others, both men and women. And um, female sociopaths are demonically possessed. If you would see them and you would see into the spiritual realm, you would see all kinds of men. I mean, no, I'm not talking about human beings, I'm talking about in demonic spirits, all kinds of demonic spirits hanging around them, especially around their hair and attached to their bodies. So, a female sociopath is a female that's demonic in her attitude, in her mind, in her thinking, and she is possessed by several demon spirits. A female sociopath is not less dangerous than a male sociopath. And it's true, male sociopaths often use physical strength, but so do does female sociopaths. 
The only reason why female sociopaths can act without being caught is because society doesn't believe in the existence of female sociopaths. Even, you know, professionals in psychology, psychiatry, even they have difficulty acknowledging the existence of female sociopaths. Female sociopaths abuse children verbally, physically and sexually. And from time to time they also kill babies, which is a, a form of human sacrifice. Female sociopaths tend to marry men just to get financial gain from them and they would ruin the man or even kill the man when they are done with him. Female sociopaths you find in all classes of society, in all ages and from, from all religions and from, in every nation. There isn't a specific type of female sociopath. The one thing they all have in common is that they don't function as human beings anymore. They function as demonic spirit, spirits, but they are humans. And um, the West, and I'm talking about Western Europe and North America. In these countries, Hollywood has an, has an, and the media have an enormous impact and female sociopaths are portrayed as attractive and progressive. Just check the common Hollywood movies, scan the female characters, and you'll often find female sociopaths disguised as lovely. And that's what magicians and wizards, wizards do. They portray something that's disgusting and evil and harmful. They portray it as cute, lovely and benevolent. Just like Satan transforms himself into an angel and messenger of light, the same way people who serve the devil portray negative things as beautiful, as attractive. And I say this now because people need to wake up. And um, this series about the Principate is mostly for a female audi audience and girls, ladies, I'm telling you this, not every woman, just like you out there, has the best intentions for you. There are sick, depraved women out there with no good in them at all. And sometimes this is developed when there are, ch when there are children in the, be in the beginning of their teenage years. Because this is, this is what you girls need to understand. A female sociopath became a sociopath not because, you know, her, because of traumas or bad stuff happening in her life. A female sociopath became a sociopath because she resisted the grace of God. She resisted the grace of God violently in her mind, in her, in her, in her attitude. And this has hardened her soul. This has hardened her emotions and her mind. And she kept hardening herself and she kept blaming others for her stupid attitude till the moment that she became so depraved, so sick, so broken that, there, that, is, that she became a hopeless case. And when she became a hopeless case, demon spirits began to invade her. Why? Because she has, she has become just as broken and just as messy as demon spirits. So, so demon spirits see her as one of them. Uh, one of them. So you need to understand, a female sociopath is not innocent, they should show no remorse and they will do whatever they ca can to get what they want and they have no trouble at all with killing people or or destroying people's lives, marriages and, whole, and even all countries just to get what they want. And people underestimate the impact of female sociopaths, even though they are few in number, they still have enormous impact and, and one thing you need to get clear men that are violent you see i'm not you know excusing anyone here but there are men that are violent because they give in to the influence of a female sociopath because you have men that don't have a backbone i'm seriously you have guys out there who can't stand their ground men they are they are too good believing they are too naive. There's nothing wrong with being naive. Being naive can be a healthy thing. However, in certain circumstances, you can't afford to be naive 
because in danger in dangerous circumstances you need to recognize its danger being naive is okay it's a healthy thing also but when there's real danger you need to be alert and that's what the sad truth is a lot of men are not aware they are naive when it comes to women not all men i'm not not all men are that way but a lot of men are naive and they easily give in to female sociopaths and they treat the female sociopath as if she's a queen and she then became, begins to rule over that guy you have relationships out there marriages and boyfriends girlfriends in which the man is really the slave and the female is the lord in that relationship well the only lord is the lord jesus he is king of kings no human being should be a lord over you but you have couples out there where the female is lord and that's not right neither should the man be lord no it's a partnership you're both of equal worth however about female social parts society does want to recognize that it, that it exists but come on guys you need to wake up and female social parts they use men to get the dirty work done because they can do the dirty work themselves but they but they know it's quite it's easy to lure men with their sexuality so they will use that to let men do the evil work and when they're done with the men they get rid of those men also they also use other women as their devices and that's what you understand sociopaths and i'm talking about female sociopaths now they don't search for love nor friendship a healthy human being even unhealthy human beings they search for love because that's how they we are wired that's how our soul is made we search for we crave for love however a, a sociopath is someone who is so messed up that they don't function as humans anymore but as demons even though they are human so they don't search for love they're only searching for power and to feel good about themselves by controlling others that's what a sociopath is and girls if you know some friends of you that fall into this category avoid her at all costs and women and though they're married wives listen if your husband you know is naive i'm not saying that is something bad but just look after him okay because if you have a husband that's a quite naive you know female sociopaths enjoy and they get you know they get turned on by naive men i'm telling the truth so wives if you have husbands that are quite a little bit naive take care of them and be there for their, your husband so that he will listen to you and that so we won't get under the influence of a jezebel because that's what a sociopathic female is a jezebel just like the aphrodite who, who was a female vampire so and another thing guys this one i tell to you guys just grow up use your brains and the, the common sense that the lord gave to you just because a girl or a woman acts nice and cute doesn't mean she is nice or cute just because a woman is pretend it, it, just because a woman looks sad or just because she looks like a victim that doesn't mean that she's a victim guys don't fall for the tricks of sociopathic females many of you do because you just don't want to use your common sense use your common sense guys and don't fall into the tricks of female sociopaths okay anyway and if the, if some of you listening to this are female sociopaths i'm telling you right now you're on your way to the lake of fire fire and brimstone will the lord rain upon you because he won't tolerate you in his presence there's one place you're going that's it the eternal lake of fire you will burn forever and ever together with satan all his demons and the lord won't hurt you anymore because you will be permanently lost so if you're a, if you're a female sociopath repent fight hard to get delivered or perish for, forever anyway 
May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you all.